using Google Maps to determine square footage and area. Google Maps is a standout. It's readily available online. If I'm not mistaken, it was one of the first mapping programs that was widely available that people really enjoyed using. And I think maybe it started off having more features than some of its competitors did when it debuted. It's easy to use, not a whole lot to it. It has an extensive worldwide location catalog. It's global. I mean, they've literally tried to map out the entire planet. The downsides would be it's limited to mapping one area at a time. And you can't combine areas that you've done and total them automatically. They have to be manually totaled up with a calculator, spreadsheet, back of a napkin or some other method. But if you simply have a small area, a small yard that you're doing and you just need something in the moment, Google Maps is an excellent tool for that. Let's take a look in the walkthrough. Go to google.com forward slash maps, enter a place of interest. Once the map app comes up for us, it's going to be the Kansas Governor's Mansion, Cedar Crest. And once it comes up, select the satellite view and drill down in the zoom inside of the app um, or in the browser or a combination to get it situated on the page like you want so you can map it out properly. Once you have a starting point defined for the area, right click and select measure distance, you'll see the information pane come up that shows how much distance has been captured. And then left click around the perimeter. If you make a mistake like here, just click the dot that you just laid again and um, reselect the next dot. Go around the perimeter, making your way back to the starting point making sure that the first point you started with is the last point selected. And at the bottom, you're going to see the totals. Good luck on your next project and thanks for watching.